guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jenna Smink. I am a pro barrel racer and part of the 5CR sponsored athlete trailer team. So today I'm gonna take you through this beautiful mansion of a trailer, my home away from home when I'm on the road rodeoing. So stay tuned, you guys are gonna learn a lot and hopefully find out some of the tricks and my preferences when it comes to picking out a trailer. Jenna Smink, professional barrel racer and part of the 5CR trailer sponsored athlete team. Today I want to take you behind these doors and show you my home away from home. All right, so we're just going to start out front to back, starting in the nose. This is where I spend most of my time um, when I'm not driving. I'm either sleeping or on Taz's back. So this is my road companion, Noodle. He goes with me everywhere, and he's basically like a guard dog. He doesn't really like other people unless he's been around him a little bit. But he keeps me company, and if I ever need a hug or somebody make me feel a little bit better after a bad run, that's where his main part comes in. So he's an emotional support puppy. One of the most important features up here is this hat rack. Most people have a superstition about keeping their hat on their bed, um, but mine... They stay up here right above my bed, and I don't mind if they actually touch the mattress. So no superstitions here. And moving back, I have this pull-out couch. So if I do have friends come stay, this just easily folds out into a bed. And let's see, other features. You have your basic microwave, stove. It doesn't have a lot of action. But this coffee machine, that's how I start each day with a little bit of caffeine. Noodle. <laughs> Um, and then into the refrigerator, which I'm not on the road full time just yet, but I'm always stocked with rippets ready to go to give me a little bit more energy, especially for those all night drives. I need a little boost going through the night. Um, and moving a little further back, this is my wardrobe closet. So this is where I keep all of my custom rodeo outfits that are bedazzled or fragile and I don't want to get them um, damaged in any way. So this, this closet has my cool cool rodeo outfits. I'll just show you one of my favorites. We could spend all day here, but this is a customized Kimes shirt. Um, Kimes is my wardrobe and apparel sponsor. So what I, what I like to do, because I am a prior rodeo queen, is to basically deck out all of their outfits. So I add a little bit of bling, a little bit of my own personality to each of their shirts and each of their looks. And if you want to take just a quick peek at some of the rest, those are the jeans that go with that shirt. We've got some stars on the legs. We've even got some leopard print. So we have just about everything in here, even some denim and pearls. A lot, a lot of bling. And then of course the rest of the hats that I don't wear as often go down here. And moving back into the bathroom, every female likes their space in the bathroom. So this is perfect for me to get ready. I keep all of my makeup above the sink and then I keep my jeans and t-shirts in this closet. So these are just some of my tank tops, some of my t-shirts for when I'm wearing stuff in my downtime. Usually if I'm not in rodeo gear, I'm in loungewear. So that doesn't mean that I'm working out, but I definitely don't get dressed up that often. And then I have all of my kimes and some hats. Um, this is one from my halter company, Naughty Halters. I like the flat bills. And let's see, down here I have warm weather gear and some more rodeo shirts. So most of this is Kimes. They keep me outfitted all year long with warm weather stuff, with rodeo gear, and yeah, my extra rodeo shirts, the ones that aren't as bedazzled. Oh, one more cool feature, this goes into the horse compartment. So if I need to check on Taz or check on something if I'm back here, makes it easy just to climb right back there. And I don't want to say that I ride back here while we're going down the road, but if I did, I would probably visit my horse. <laughs> so one of the features that I really like about this trailer is the super heavy duty hooks that hold the doors open. So the tack door and this living quarters door, they are super reinforced because I always open them and forget that I've pinned them open and then try to shut them. And on most trailers, that'll just rip that hook right out. 
and I'm not proud of this, but I have actually left the door open and gone down the road a little ways on the interstate. So this can not only with withhold an accidental door slam, but it can withhold the interstate as well. Um, one other feature that I really like is this canopy or this awning, which is awesome for a rodeo where the sun is directly, um, directly over the trailer or just not lined up east to west so that the trailer provides its own shade. So I always want Taz to be cool and comfortable, so I'll just pop this out and then he'll just stand underneath the, underneath the shade and he'll even pop his head in here so he can hang out with me a little bit. Um, but let's take a walk to the back and check out the tech area. I wish that we could get a testimony from Taz on he, how he likes the trailer because to me that's the most important part is keeping my equine athlete happy, healthy, and comfortable while on the road because it is strenuous as an, an athlete or a competitor um, just to be able to sleep in this thing away from home but it's super important for him to be comfortable while he's on the road so I don't want him to be stressed out I want him to feel like this is home and when I open the back door I want him to be eager with anticipation say mommy where are we going jump in there and be excited um, for what's what's ahead rather than dreading the trailer which I know a lot of people have trailer loading problems part of that is just because the trailer isn't a comfortable place for their animal so Taz definitely likes this one and I'm gonna show you why all right so here we are on the back of my rig which is something that I'm super super proud of I visualized I see I feel like since I was a little girl about having my face on a trailer and it's finally come to life finally come to fruition so the big blue mule marketing strategies out of nampa idaho which is where five cr trailers is did this beautiful wrap for me so that when i'm going down the road it's basically like a moving billboard so i want to touch on these logos because they all are a huge part of what it takes to keep me going we'll just start from the top down so the 5cr.com is where you can look at all the trailers that 5cr has in stock or make um, a request so that they can find or build you something that is perfect for you. So definitely check them out. We also have Kimes Ranch Jeans. Um, they're my apparel sponsor, like I said. They've done outstanding for me this year. Um, and then moving down, we have Naughty Halters, which is my halter and tack company. We have Jay Smink Apparel, which is part of what I'm wearing today, which is t-shirts and tank tops. And then we also have my lashes company, Fultastic Lashes. Um, so those are all kind of me. Um, and then on the bottom row we have Ortho Equine, which is the sponsor for my boots for Taz and then also my saddle pad. So let's check out the inside. This is the living court, or this, sorry, this is the horse compartment where Taz spends his time. So really this is the most important part of this trailer, in my opinion. So this is where Taz lives when we are on the road. And I love this because it's so big for him. He's 16 hands. Um, 16 2 actually so he has a large body and part of the problem that I had with my previous trailer is that these slants just weren't big enough for him so I actually went down the road with one slant open so that he could fit comfortably and that is not a problem with this trailer so Taz has no problem in it um, Big Horse Mafia represent and we always have grain in front of him when we're going down the road which is part of what entices him to want to get in the trailer I feed Purina and then I also have a bag of alfalfa just for him to munch something to do while he's going down the road. And then another custom feature that this trailer has is this flooring. So this is called the Equiflex floor, which I had put in especially for Taz so that we can eliminate the need for shavings entirely. So there's pores in it and the moisture, or any type of water um, just goes directly through the floor where it hits and there's no actual drainage on the surface. So there's, it's so much cleaner, it's way easier. And then without having to fumble with shavings, constantly cleaning it, it just makes life so much simpler. So I absolutely love this floor. All right, and then into the tack compartment, which is basically bursting at the seams because if you know me at all, you know that I love to change not only my outfit, but my whole horse's outfit every run. So I coordinate my shirt color with my boots, um, with my fringe and my breast collar, and just basically head to toe. I try to have a whole nother look from rodeo to rodeo. So um, let's see, where to start? So on the door here, you'll see all of my different boots. Um, and like I said, I'm sponsored by Ortho Equine. So this is what they make. And I really like this support um, that they give with this extra bottom strap that goes around the tendons and ligaments in their lower leg. And they come in just about every color. This is one of my favorites. Pink Knight is very popular at a lot of rodeos and so is Patriotic Knight. So I definitely have the red, white, and blue theme. Um, and then 
in the inside, all of the tack that I wear is from my own company called Naughty Halters. One of my favorites that I will show you is this interchangeable breast collar. So it looks like a regular breast collar, but on the back side it has fringe. And I have just about every color of fringe that you can imagine. So I can change that out with my outfit. And then I'll pull some of these out for you. So here is my pad that I'm running Taz in. And this is actually a best ever pad. And this is one of their custom designs. So you can pick the wear leathers, you can pick this crown or put a brand there or anything you want. And then right here on the center too, you can have customization. I just put Taz's name because no one else is gonna get to wear this um, saddle blanket. And then here is my saddle, which is one that I won in high school. It was the South Dakota High School um, barrel racing state finals saddle. And I just customized that with some turquoise stirrups because like I said, changing everything <laughs> with every run. And then one last thing that's relatively important for Taz is his Purina apple treats. He's fairly picky with what he eats, so I always have these on hand and readily available for bribery or, you know, just a little reward. <laughs> And then on the sides, there are different compartments for storage, which is underneath the manger where the horses eat. So I'll show you what I've got in one of them. But you'd be surprised if you have a lot of space, it just somehow fills up. Um, <laughs> this is basically my vet area. So I have all the basics, necessities, some vetricin, some gloves, some cute vet wrap. Um, and then in here I have some extras. So. Ortho Equine has a couple different pastes that I like to have on the road with me. One of them is an electrolyte boost. So I use that when I'm traveling just to make sure Taz is getting enough electrolytes um, in his diet and drinking enough water. And then this one is the Kickstarter paste. And I'll use this one before a run just to give him just a little extra boost. So it's almost like a little energy drink, but just for horses. So I don't use this every single time, but when I feel like Taz needs a little pick me up, or maybe it's a really big race and I really want him firing, that's when I'll go ahead and use that. And then this is actually where I store my fringe too. So since the back of this is Velcro, it's really easy to stick these basically on any trailer wall, um, but that just keeps them really flat for storage. So this is what I've got going on. And the rest is full of electric fence, uh, more buckets and some feed. Like I said, I feed Purina. That's what Taz told me he likes, so yeah. That's all we got on this side. When I picked this trailer up from 5CR in Nampa, CW, who is the owner, went through every detail, showed me exactly how to use it, and was also willing to get back on the phone with me when I forgot. So from the pro protein tank, or sorry, protein tanks, from the propane tanks, to the water tanks, to the sewage systems, he was very good at basically dumbing that down, making it easy to understand, and then when I was ready to go to the next level, like when something stopped working, he was able to walk me through that as well. So I I can't say what a great sponsor 5CR has been for me with the trailer and also with the support on the phone um, and online. So if you guys have any questions or are looking to purchase a trailer, I highly recommend 5CR. Thank you guys for hanging out with us today. Taz and I had a, a blast showing you where we live when we're not at home. So if you guys see us on the road, be sure to wave or come and say hi. If if you're not sure where we're going to be, be sure to check my social media, <laughs> Jenna Smink or my website, jsmink.com, to find our schedule. Thanks, and we'll see you guys down the rodeo trail.